my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Hey, how do you do this? How do we strum uh, our solos and, and keep that rhythm going and produce lines that are in time and seems to fit the music every single time, right? You just start, you just start playing and then everything you play seems like you composed it before you start playing because it's kind of, it's really connected to the music and the lines start and end in a logical place and everything just works. How do we do that? Well, uh, a cool concept to focus on is what I call uh, strum soloing, you could say, or solo strumming, <laughs> which is basically a matter of keeping your hand moving, right? So you got like a, like a track I just played over there and I'm just basically, you know, when you play rhythm guitar, your hand tends to move all the time, at least if you're good at it. Your hand moves. And then some of the strokes are muted, and some of the strokes you have uh, the chord ring out. Right? And some are muted, some you don't even hit the strings, but the hand keeps moving. And we can use that in order for us to stay in close contact with the music. And so, how do we do this? Well, I tried to do it in the beginning and I just failed at it all the time because I was too complex or I tried to aim at something that was just way too hard. So in the beginning, the way to really learn this is to start with something simple, duh, right? But this is so important here because you can progress so fast if you will allow yourself to really make it simple in the beginning. You just take one baby step and then pretty quickly you can take the next and the next and suddenly the whole thing gets momentum or you get momentum and it's, it's just faster and faster until you're actually like improvising your rhythms. And it's much the same thing as, you know, if you, if you um, uh, play a chord, right? And, and you, you're able, you get to that point where you've been playing so many different strumming patterns so you're able to improvise now, right? So you can... Um, You can do that kind of thing. Um, and we can do the same thing when we're soloing. So let's just play this track again, or this little, uh, this thing in the background. So, uh, mm. All right, I got that running there. And you should get a louver pedal, you know. I say that all the time, but it's really important. And just the ability to create a loop like this and hit the pedal at the right time so you get that loop uh, is important. And just buy one and you'll learn it. So what I do now, see I had my hand going in this when I played it, right? That was the, and I had my foot stomping at da, 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 da. That's the rhythm skill, right? But then I can take a single note and then mute all the other strings. Okay, in this case I'm just playing E in the background and I use the E pentatonic, minor pentatonic to, uh, I'm holding down my third finger and I'm just muting all the notes behind it with my other fingers. But I'm using the same, right? So I could play the same rhythm. So I go... That's really simple, right? And just because that's my skill, I can already do that. And just by doing that, I can start, you know, changing the notes around. It, this works, right? But it becomes a little bit boring in the in the long run because I'm basically playing the same rhythm as in the background. But if I can apply another rhythm to the same notes or the same scale, then suddenly... And it's just another strumming pattern, like da da ba ba da da ba. And 
it doesn't matter what strumming pattern you play, actually, as long as you use the same subdivisions. And what are those subdivisions? It's the... It's this. That, those are the subdivisions. Foot, foot, and you keep that foot tapping, because if you can't keep that foot tapping, you can't even play the rhythm in the background. You're just faking it. So we need to have that pulse going, right? So you need to keep it at that simple. And if this is way too hard for you, because your strumming abilities aren't that up to par, then you can simply just go like, uh, say we have a, uh, a C major, right? And we go like, uh, let's stay in the key of E. So let's do an E minor again. So I go. <laughs> All right, so I go foot. Foot on all the downstrokes, I have my foot tapping, right? And then I have upstrokes in between, and I can use this. So I can stop with just one note and just do the downstroke. Right? How simple is this? The, the boring class. And to try to introduce the upstroke. Then you play around with upstrokes and downstrokes. And don't say this is boring, because you have to master this in order to, for you to take the next step. And if you master this, then taking the next step is easy. That's how to make you know practicing to the level of mastery super easy. It's to go for mastery right away. Go for something you actually can master today. And then you can put steps of mastery on top of each other, and it'll be easy all the way. Most people just jump ahead of themselves and start practicing something that's actually too hard, and it takes forever. So, you might want to just mark out the scale on one string if you use this little technique here, but I can do it with multiple strings, like. And then I can make it a little bit more complex simply just by, just by, you know, increasing the tempo. And if you do this, then you will not be in the situation where you're playing and suddenly you don't know where you are, or you don't know, you know, trying to play something, you're trying to play a lick, and then suddenly. Uh, you just fall out of it. You don't know how to end it. Because basically what you're trying to do is the music is just in the background, and then you're trying to play some melodic stuff on top of that music. But you have no connection with the rhythm, and it's just, ugh, it's just way up there. Way too hard to, to, to get control over at that level. And we struggle with it, and we wonder why can't I get control? It's because you need to go back to this point, and then you move forward. Just a couple of steps in the beginning, and it's faster and faster, and then you just, whoom, right? You just push beyond where you were before, where it was really hard, suddenly. Because you, you take steps back, make it so easy that you can totally do it, and it's enjoyable. And because you do that, you take steps, 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 step, 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 and then you get, you know, it's just a way to go. I used to struggle and push and try to, how do I get my legs to work, right? How do I get them to work? How can I stop, you know, stumbling when I play solo? And it did, I didn't get out of that zone before I just t took 20 steps back. And then I quickly, you know, over weeks basically, moved beyond where I was. So you can take something like... Right? And, and this comes from that, right? So you need to st 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 uh, start there and then move forward. This works, I promise you. And this is all part of a philosophy of our new program here. Here comes the advertisement. Uh, that's called solo strumming, where we'll go in depth with what is really the, the, the skill of being able to strum as you solo, have that freedom. Of course, it comes from muting skills and it comes from rhythm skills, but how do you get there in the fastest way possible where you have total control and you can really start enjoying playing solos instead of being stressed? So go check that out. You can download the video at that page. If you click the link just below here, check out the program and see, see if it's for you. And then I'll see you tomorrow in the next video on this subject. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now.
Do it.